that is a fail. We came to the Grand Bazaar in Tehran and it's closed. Finally sunny here in Tehran and here's my friend Mishu who found an interesting bottle of water. water. <laughs> it's really water actually, so we're gonna enjoy our flask. Of water. Of water. <laughs> <laughs> as if my mouth has been coated with silicone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am at Azari Tower and there is a statue of a man taking a selfie. Best sculpture ever in Iran so far. shopping for traditional scarves and there are so many that I am so confused and I have no clue what to choose but I think I am gonna go for that one we just got on the bus in Iran and we got some magic boxes what do we have in a box a really really pretty really cup. fancy cap is better than Starbucks Oh, there's Ooh, more. There's, there's more. even water. Cookies? Cookies. Ooh, cookie? more cookies. Cakey cookies. It seems oh, like more. Iranians love so a lot of sweets. Perfect. So we just got to Kurdistan, to the town of Sanandaj. It's pretty different than Tehran. There are a lot of markets, street vendors, and it's pretty cool. And I got my new headscarf, so 60s style. with us and we even made it on Kurdish TV. You know all please. the people want. Yeah, I feel like we're the biggest attraction here. I'm buying a carpet right now at a real carpet store and they're all huge so I can't bring it with me I just want a small one so we're finally eating at the traditional Iranian place to sit got some delicious bread in here this is one of the best places in Iran that I really wanted to visit. It's a salt lake called Lake Umria up north, really close to Turkey. And it's so pretty. It looks like there's no water here. It looks like it's just flat. We just arrived to Kandavan, which is basically like a mini Cappadocia, like in Turkey, but in Iran. And it's pretty cool, less crowded and less commercialized. I just got myself another scarf for three dollars since I don't have many clothes here with me because I didn't expect it to be so cold I keep buying scarves so I can add some color to my outfit So I just arrived to Esfahan and the plus side of taking a really long night bus from Tabriz is that Right now I'm at the square and there's no one here because everyone is still asleep at 8 in the morning on Friday which in Iran means that it's technically Sunday because it's the weekend. So it's pretty cool. Here at 
Espahan, you can clearly see that um, there are way more tourists and every place of interest is busy. It's not like in any other place that I visit in Iran so far that you can just go and enjoy it on your own. It's, it's really busy. I even keep bumping into people. So I don't know if I like this place so much. So I'm trying some saffron ice cream, apparently typical to Iran. And I gotta say it's pretty good. It tastes funny, but I would still order it again, I think. Guys, so speaking of bad luck, on my last day in Iran, I mean technically tomorrow is my last day, but last stationary day, we finally found a dish that we actually like. A rice aubergine dip and chicken in pomegranate sauce. So it's the best food I had so far here in Iran. So I just go to Kashan and I'm, I'm alone without my friend who left for Shiraz. And I gotta say that as much as I feel that Iran is safe, it's really uncomfortable. Like I just had a guy stopping me and grabbing my ass and yesterday we've been followed by a man in a car and we had to catch some backpacker to to basically like protect us. I don't really know what I feel about solo female traveling in Iran so far, but I mean it's okay, but you gotta be prepared that it's not gonna be very comfortable. This is probably the coolest part of these baths that you can go up to the rooftop and see everything from the top and the rooftop itself is really, really beautiful. I'm just wearing a traditional dress. It's pretty hot in this, but it's also pretty fun. Mm -hmm. 